Hey guys, it's me Luke, or an idiotic philanthropist, and welcome to the first episode of Blank Got Into Multiverses, where we ask, what character from the media would fare in multiverses? This month's character will be weird, and I can see a few comments on my video saying, Why, your character makes no sense. And I say to that is, I don't even care, and but I do kind of care, because, you know, it's my video. But anyways... Let's move on to our favorite cassette using sociopath that kills Russians like they're cockroaches, Jacket from Hotline Miami. After America's loss in the Russo-American War, a nuke was launched by the Soviets destroying all of San Francisco, where a friend of Jacket, Beard, who were, who were soldiers for the special ops team known as the Ghost Wolves during the Russo-American War, was killed in a blast. After this happens, he promised revenge for his friend. On April 3rd, 1989, Jackie receives a call on his answering machine saying that his order of cookies was on his doorstep. He leaves his apartment and opens the box. What was in it was a rooster mask and a note with an address on it. Jackie goes to the address and kills all the Russian mobsters and takes the briefcase to the dumpster. A homeless man comes into, into the alleyway with a weapon and attacks Jackie, but Jackie easily kills the homeless man, but unlike the mobsters, Jacket felt sick and threw up on the floor. Jackie gets up and dusts himself off and drives away to get a snack from the convenience store. After doing 15 more missions, he finally completes his task of killing the boss of the Russian monsters. And as he stands on the balcony, after discarding his mask, he lights a cigarette and throws a Polaroid picture of himself and beard during their time in the ghost wolf off the balcony, finally letting his grudge go. As Jacket was being escorted by police, he began to feel weird as he is then warped to the multiverses. Like in Hotline Miami 1 and all the characters in 2, Jacket is very fast and hits like a bullet train, but is very squishy and can get killed at extremely low percentages, forcing you to think on your toes to make a decision that would either cost you the game or win the gold medal. Jackie would be an assassin hybrid character, and for those facts, and, statistic and statistically having the fastest base speed in the game, making him a giant headache to deal with if the opponent knows how to play him. To start off his moveset, we will be talking about his neutral ground, Gunsmith. A menu will appear above Jackie's head, and above all, oh, three choices will appear of guns. That being his Mark 10 from Payday 2, a Beretta F2 FS, and a Sawn-Off double barrel shotgun, with all of them having upsides and downsides. His Mark 10 having basic speed, basic damage, high fire rate, a good enough capacity being 10 rounds, uh, plus reload time, basic or good reload time, and good range. The Beretta 92 FS. Has plus speed, a really good speed, not that good damage, uh, not that good fire rate, not really good at capacity, but has plus reload time and really good range. And lastly, the double barrel shotgun has not that good speed, really good damage, not that good fire rate, not a good capacity of two shells, a basic reload time and bad range. Keep in mind that you only have three mags with each weapon, meaning you have the 30 rounds with the Mark 10, 12 rounds with the Beretta, and six shells with the double barrel sawn off shotgun. So balance out your weapons without completely running out of ammo before your final ring out. And also, be very wise with your ammo consumption. Jacket side ground is called Bone Breaker, a multi hit combo where Jacket will do a low kick, then a right hook, and finish off with the gun he has equipped. With the Mark 10 equipped, Jacket will hit them with the magazine of the gun and fire two rounds to the opponent, eating up rounds of ammo that are gone forever. The Beretta 92 FS, well, he will do with it. Jacket will kick his opponent and shoot them with one round, eating ammo. With the sawn off shotgun, Jacket will jab them with the barrel of the gun and fire the gun, eating one shell of ammo. Jacket's upground is called Backslasher, a charge attack where Jacket will slash upwards with a combat knife. 
being a good combo starter for you to do some crazy stuff with there being a sweet spot in the middle that you can go off of. Jacket's down here is called Russo American Glimsing. Jacket will throw a Molotov cocktail in an arc leaving a firewall, giving Jacket a pressure option, and if you hit the opponent with the Molotov, it will ignite the opponent for 3 seconds while launching them upwards for combo potential, but it has a cooldown of 30 seconds. Jacket's neutral error is called Clean Hit. A charge attack with Jacket will swing his baseball bat downward that will spike when he hits the opponent with the sweet spot, but will launch the opponent forward if the sweet spot doesn't hit. Jacket's side air is called quick shot. Jacket will fire his equipped gun. With the Mark 10, Jacket will fire five rounds of his Mark 10 in an arc, dealing low knockback but has consistent damage when you pepper your opponent properly, but it will eat five rounds, so keep in mind of that. The Beretta 92 will do that. Well, Jacket will fire the Beretta downward to diagonally, making this a good round option despite its mediocre knockback. And with the Sawn-Off Shotgun, Jacket will fire the Sawn-Off Shotgun upwards diagonally, dealing crazy knockback, making this his best ring out option by far. Jacket's up air is called Crackdown. A charge move where Jacket throws the magazine up in the air of the gun he has equipped, and depending on the charge, he will throw it faster at a lesser or greater distance, but it will eat a round of ammo from that respective gun. With the Mark 10, Jacket will throw up in the air, doing great knockback and damage. With the Beretta, Jacket will throw it up in the air, dealing normal knockback but okay damage. And with the Sawn Off Shotgun, Jacket will throw a shell in the air, dealing garbage knockback but really good damage, making it a really good damage option if you're at a high percentage and need your opponent to become equal with it fast. Jacket's down air is called Watch the World Burn. Jacket will throw down an open gas can, leaving a trail of gasoline through the can. And if you use down air again, Jacket will pull out a match and light it, but it will only burn for 15 seconds of it being lit. And what it'll do, it'll create a firewall, a mini firewall trail that will do damage to the opponent and ignite them. While giving his teammate a damage boost for 5 seconds if they step into the gasoline trail that's been lit but if you notice there is a meter below jacket and i bet you're asking whatever could that be well you're in luck because i'm about to explain it to you <laughs> jacket's violence and brutality is still present in multiverses so i introduce to you the execution meter is where if jacket has a bar filled up he can perform by holding down the neutral special input and the execution on the opponent. It requires 15 hits of damage to fill up the first bar, another 15 hits of damage to fill up the second bar, and finally another 15 to fill up the final bar. What if the execution being different depending on the bar filled up? With the one bar, he does 3 hits, with 2 bars, he does 5 hits, and with 3 bars, he does 7 hits. And what he does for the execution? Jacket will tackle his opponent to the ground and beat them over the head with a melee weapon he has equipped. The claw hammer, Jacket will beat the person over, over their head with the claw side of their hammer, applying full stacks of weakened stats effect. The cleaver, Jacket will slam the cleaver down on his opponent's head multiple times, applying the electrified status effect. And with the baseball bat, Jacket will pulverize the opponent's head multiple times, applying full stacks of the panic status effect. Now that I've mentioned the Panic status effect, I feel like I should go over that. Panic is a status debuff unique to Jacket and has a maximum of 14 stacks. Panic will decrease the opponent's damage by 0.5% per stack. And when full stacks are met, the opponent's damage will go back to default but reverse their controls for about 5 seconds. All attacks will apply one stack of Panic on the opponent except for his execution. And all the multi-hitting ones will apply multiple stacks as well. Jacket's neutral special called Adept to Crime. A menu will appear below Jacket with three choices of melee weapons. That being his claw hammer, 
cleaver, and baseball bat, with all of them having different downsides and upsides. The claw hammer has basic speed, basic damage, basic swing speed, basic range, really good knockback, but basic throw speed. The cleaver has really good speed, not that good damage, really good swing speed, not good range, not good knockback, or really good throw speed. The baseball split, the baseball bat has bad speed, really good damage, not that great of a swing speed, really good amounts of range, and really good at securing ring outs with its good knockback, but has a very pitiful throw speed. The melee weapons are God said the jacket's kit, giving him a substantial neutral game to work with. Jacket side special is called Full On Assault. Depending on the weapon, Jacket will do a multi-hit combo. With the claw hammer, Jacket will swing down here downwards with the hammer part, following it up with a knee hit, and then we'll finish it off by grabbing them with the claw of the hammer and throw his opponent behind them. But if you combo it with another side special, Jacket will instead throw them upwards. With the cleaver, Jacket will slash the cleaver two times and then will punch the opponent in the gut or chest or legs, you know, depending on the character's height, and finish it off by rushing forward and slashing violently, sort of like Stripe's uh, multi-hit combo with his, with his side ground. But if you combo this with another side special, Jacket will finish it off by throwing the enemy behind them. With his baseball bat, Jacket will swing the baseball bat forwards and follow it up with a strong kick forward and finish it off with a bat swing downwards. And if you combo this with another side special, Jacko will jab the baseball bat into the opponent dealing great amount of knockback. Jacket side special in the air is called it's on the house. Depending on the weapon, Jacket will do various things. With the claw hammer, Jacket will swing the claw hammer forward and if comboed again, Jacket will swing it twice really fast while holding the hammer out doing multi hit damage since it hits two times. This has tons of mobility to this. You can move up a little bit, down forward for extra acceleration, and if back and back if you need to be as still as possible. You can also jump cancel or wave dash with it. With the cleaver, Jacket will target after its porn, it's sort of like Finn's gem. Finn's gem and side special. And will slash them two times. And if you combo this again, Jacket will uppercut up. You can use this as a ring out option, which is really good in my opinion. With the baseball bat, Jacket will swing his baseball bat in a buzzsaw motion, knocking his opponent back forward. And if you combo this again, Jacket will swing down heavily like his neutral air, turning this into a really good spiking tool in his kit. But the sweet spot on this one is much more smaller. So keep with that if you will. Jacket's up special is called No Mercy. Jacket will throw his melee weapon at his opponent and he can aim it like Stripe's buzzsaw. But has but since he has his like three melee weapons, they have different speeds on thrown. His claw hammer moves as fast as an uncharged uh, buzzsaw. The cleaver moves faster than Stripe's buzzsaw when fully charged, and the bat moves slower than Tom's tennis balls. But the thing is, if you miss with, if you miss, like if they go off stage, you will lose them, and you have to wait 15 seconds for them to get back as the cooldown. The move is the same in air, but it'll make Jacket jump, sort of like LeBron's up special, making this a recovery tool more than anything. Jacket's down special is called Who Do You Want to Be? Jacket will grab his opponent and will glare into them, inflicting stacks of panic on them depending on your execution meter. One bar equals two stacks, two bars equals four stacks, and three bars equals six stacks. This move has a cooldown of 150 seconds, but if you were to miss your grab, you can get punished hard because of how long your whiff recovery is. Jacket's down special in the air is called 50 Blessings. Jackie will, thro will throw down an ammo bag for himself if you're playing 1v1s, and for his teammate if you're playing teams, and will get rid of you and your teammates cooldowns but has two charges on it, meaning you have to be wise with it. Your opponent can take from the bag, but it'll only decrease 5 seconds of their cooldowns. And that is Jacket's whole moveset. So what we're going to do now is go over his signature perks, 
Han's alternate costumes and intro along with his win and lose interactions. Basically the works. Jacket comes with three signature perks and we're gonna go over one of them one by one. And we're starting this off with do you like hurting the people? And what does this what does this does and what this does and that Jackie will have a 5% chance to apply the weakened status effect with any attack. With a uh, showdown, a uh, jacket down air will make a larger firewall and will do 1% more damage and will heal his teammate. And with sociopath, jacket's down special on the ground will have a shorter cooldown and will increase the number of, of stacks applied to the enemy with one bar now doing 4 stacks. Two bars now doing six stacks, and finally three bars at eight stacks. For taunts, uh, Jacket will have one called uh, Blown Smoke. What it does, Jacket will basically just lift up his mask and just smoke a cigarette. Jacket's next taunt is called Tactically Awesome. What will do, Jacket will just flick a magazine out of his Beretta and will spin it very fast before perfectly sliding a new bag into it. Next up I want to talk about is alternate costumes. I have three ideas in mind, that being one for Biker, one of the Sun, and one of Manny Pardo. Jacket's winning animation is basically a smoke time, but instead of just standing there, he just leans on his DeLorean. And for his losing animation, Jacket will sit down on the ground and will proceed to dismantle his Mark 10 examine. And finally, here are some character interactions between other characters and Jacket. I really do feel like Jackie coming to multiverses will blow the minds of many Payday and Hotline Miami fans. And hey, we could see some crazy competitive play if you got in. So get Jacket, he's only 3,000 3, 3, coins and will be included in Season 2. Do keep in mind that what I'm saying is false and this is only hypothetical. Anyways, I'm Luke or any idiotic plans, and I'll be signing out. Bye.